But at the same time, Apex, they are actually uh, getting themselves into, into some action. Down towards Monster, but it's going horribly wrong. Eternal to Vicardi, eh? And well for Vicardi, eh? Yep, yeah, one take. Well, we're going to focus our, t our attention now. Onto, onto Apex, because Mihu and, well, Mihu Polly Seems like the Eternal Fire. Oh, no. oh, that's so, ah, oh, that is just, that's just a bummer. That's just a bummer when your weapon just sticks out. And Jota is the only one left alive. He's over at the sign. Fire Academy. Troy, yep, taking care of Jacob. Jacob of the aggression from, uh, from the Turkish side. And will also for Jota. So, so five on three situation. Apex, they are... Kind of in a uh, kind of in a weird situation. Steak with that silencer, he is definitely taking some uh, taking some notes. Well, for uh, Vikatiya, he is also just spraying and praying with that MP9, doing so much damage. And well, for that being said, though, now it's up to Steko. He's all alone over at short. He's going to need to do down towards uh, down towards Monster. In the same time, though, he is kind of isolated out there, and there is the isolation coming uh, coming down to him. Yeah, HP is not that good though for J for a Niner JL or Steeko, but at the same time the Pauly, you know, he goes off. He's taking out a couple of weapons because their money is completely gone. And Jota well takes care of Pauly, but Steeko will be will be crushed. In fact, that's uh waiting for a flash. Nope, they're actually just walking in there casually. Oh, that is oh that is so dangerous! And they definitely fought that. Well, there is no, <laughs> there is no danger. And Cyber, and Cyber, yeah, well, destroying Steeko. Jacob, well. Jesus, what's going on here? They want to underpass. Let's just see now how this is going through. Oh, there's the scouts, and there's the double D. So, Kim start being uh, really active <laughs> down an underpass. Uh, about a map like overpass. There's so many great co coordinations between, between the players. Just with uh, such good con communication, a try or into a winning round. But that's going to be a bit, that's going to be impossible. And because yeah. Yeah, he just saw Stiko and how the hell did he actually manage to get up the stairs? Gotta call e you have to calm down, man. It's the Twitch chat, bro. So Troyan. Yeah, taking down Polly. So Polly being more of uh, but it's great to see that Eternal Fire Academy, they actually, uh, they have actually gotten three people over that bomb site. And it's going to be very difficult now. Jota making that first kill and is now up to join, is now to join him. And well, he's not going to. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Eternal Fire Academy trying to fight back and they definitely do so. It's a four on the, what, make it down to a top flash. It doesn't matter that much. Oh, Jacob. Oh, that, what a shot though. Onto Gemstar. There's still a one on top. That's Jota. Joshua. He is trying to to hold on to that spot though up in heaven, but that heaven spot is going to be not going to be reliable anymore. And J we're talking about taking chances, Jacob. He can. Yep. Yeah, he hears so many footsteps. And well, for Trident, he could not do anything anymore. He could. Uh, he could. He couldn't do anything. Anything anymore. Well, for that being said though, J well for Kimstar again, doing so much damage though down at uh, down at the stairs. It continues to boil. The Polly, well, hits the shot on um, Nicodemus and Will for Cyber. He <laughs> to uh, to see what what, what, what Jota can do, but Mihu, mm, nade strategy, smoke strategies, flash. Oh, Mihu, that is so ballsy. That's so ballsy, not ballsy, but ballsy. Look at that though from me. The time's just checking out. Uh, Troy and and, and Kim stop. Now they're going to try their best. Oh, what what was that from Kim stop? <laughs> So Ken Stark, he's in a one on free situation. He's completed for him. JL, yeah, pops up, takes him down. Where Eternal Fire Academy, they haven't won a single one in their in their free tries. This could be one of the, this, this could be one of the oh Jacob does manage to get one. He is just running across long, and at the same time, Omihu he does manage to get one though. But Troy, he's actually on the top side, taking care of two. But Mihu does manage to take down Troy. It is just a trade fest of them all. Adair a bit, of a, a bit of a shooting gallery. Well, JL opening things up, though. He is just spraying and praying, but it was not enough. Jota, two incredible kills. Also, for me, whose perspective, that bomb is actually in a very dangerous place. For me, who he does so much damage from his position. And up from heaven, it is Shakem. The, re the Norwegian god, <laughs> there it is. Well, th this match wasn't it set to start at 7 p.m.? It was actually, but due to inside loss, some problems. But uh, Stiko, he's hungry. Chemstar, haven't shown himself from his from his best point of view. Jota, in uh, actually in the artifacts, 
He is actually doing so much work to whip that AK uh, mentally. But if he can just get a couple of couple of free fractions, what is going? Try and I yeah, well that that's a free op. If he can actually keep it, that would actually be pretty pretty awesome. And well, some movement. And we don't like to watch those first person views of it. Oh, six shots. Some very sick shots. Oh, Cyber. Yeah, take, takes down Jacob. That could actually have been uh, have been the way for, for, for Apex at this time. It's not going to be... Oh, my. Oh, my God. Vika Dia <laughs> just jumps up. He has been so patient and so ver and so versatile. But <laughs> it's going to push Apex a bit more. And they have, they have actually... They have done so much now, those two players, because that B bomb site is completely open now. So B bomb site is open, but it's still in disadvantage. Jota actually wanted to. Uh, let me. So Eternal Fire Academy. They want to. Uh, they want to try it out, seeing if they can do something over at long. Jacob, he's actually prepared. Way, maybe way too much prepared though for that. What could be coming by? There is a perfect flashbang. Actually, he actually covers long. Oh, we missed the shot though. Misses the shot, and there and down, down, down goes Nark. But that is going to be a trial of error now for, for Apex because Eternal Fire they're actually in the was well, in the B bomb site, but it's not going to happen. JL and some big and big frags through the smoke. Mihu now, yeah, well he is actually entering up towards uh, towards Evan, waiting for that, waiting for the time to fall. The essence for, for Eternal Fire Academy, they have to hit, they really have to hit hard. There it is, though. M Star taking care of Nargan. and Jota, he also falls in. It is now a five on three situation. They actually come into the bomb site, and there it is. M Star taking down Mihu is such a surprise. And Troy, yeah, takes me a nine four. But Jail, what's up? But it was not enough though, and well, the, the facts are just going down now. Narc with two with two kills. This should be more. But we do love long games. Jota, yeah, he's just he's just sitting in sitting in the in the party area. Now it's up to M Star. In a while, Sneeko, he hears everything, and that should be an easy kill. There it is. So seeing it as it is, Eternal Fire Academy on that T side, they have shown some great things though. Let's just see now what they can provide though through that smoke. There it is. There and well, a little it's pretty insane. But Jota, also one of them. Well, there's the sacrifice from Cypher. So it's a free and free situation. Dark though, he needs to be prepared. There it, there it is. Takes down Vikadi. Vikadi, yeah. There is a Molotov though, right beside Nark. This could actually go onto the deep end. And well for Jota, there's a single couple of frags. There it is now for Trident. So there is no time left though. And there it is, JL. Yeah, shoots him uh, point blank. M Star, seen him a couple of times now, being very crucial in his. Thinking, Mihu. Oh, that's a, oh, what a dirty flashbang! Dirty flashbang, but not. Yeah, two players each on each bomb site, which is is doable. Cyber. Oh well, taking care of Nort because this is going to be very critical now. Cyber. He's actually in great, great position. There it is. Eternal Fire Academy. Only one more frag. Twenty-five seconds to go. There it is. Apex on the T side. It is definitely now or never for a free pick. Ah, thank you so much, man. Very really appreciated. Oh, okay, so a bit of a... <laughs> there is not, no, there's not much call here. No uh, no miscommunication from Apex. Uh, it's just a clean cut execute from, uh, from the Scandinavian side. And Jota, he is just playing around, just playing around, playing around in the wall of regular time. But Nark, he decided to, to join in. Stiko opening things up, taking care of Jota. He has no... <gasps> is, are you actually checking? They're not, they're not checking at all. What is going on here? Jacob, he can actually be the linchpin of them all. And what is going on here? Jacob, yep, takes down one more. And there it is. Now it's up to Vika Dia. This could be the end for Eternal Fire Academy on this map. And it's going to be 22 9 He does have JL on, uh, on the long path. Right, uh, right beside uh, the window, but Nark though he's also ready to uh, to embrace uh, the security of this bomb site. And there it is. There's a double crack from him and JL. He also pops in, but there it is. Vicadia, yeah, he does manage to, to get one down. It's now up to Troyan in a one-on-two situation. He does manage to take down uh, JL. Now it's up to Jake him, the legendary Norwegian player. Can he actually pull this off? But uh, yeah, well, it went from a one-on-two situation down to one-on-one, and there it is, Jake him with that with that a execute. And the AX group, well, for Stiko, he needs to stay alive, though. He is now standing right in the middle of the bomb. He does manage to take down Cyper. What is going on here? He is not... He's coming now to the rescue. Takes down Katia. And now he is coming in there once again to overturn connector. But at the same time, Stiko, he's doing so much damage, though. Troyan, he had no choice, though. He needed to... 
Doesn't mean that much. Jacob, he's going to... Oh, he's going all out, out towards mid. Great timing and great flight to take control over middle, but Jacob... Yeah, well, he wants to peek out. He wants to see if he can find something. He can find something. He does, though. Takes down Cyber for Eternal uh, Fire Academy. Start with a cheeky little flash. There's the flash, but still one more alive though, right behind Ticket Booth. That is Sneeko. Oh, that flash bang, that was way too far off. Now it's up to Jotza in a 1 on 4 situation. Takes down Jankum. Still one more to go. There is Sneeko. Nine, seven seconds left off the round. Jotza, yeah, tries to fake it out, but that also is not going to help him his cause. And there it is, Mihu. But there's the, there's the second wake up though. And start taking care of, uh, of Jankum. Uh, JL, he still managed to uh, to deal some damage from his position. Uh, Jota, he is now going into the CT spawn, taking care from Nark. There's one more to go. There is Mihu. Now it's up to JL. You know, the only thing he can think of is making, taking a couple of frags, and there it is. Yeah, well, what is that, though? Sneeko, he's just going off the rails right now. All over the side. There's a, good, there's a cheeky little flash. Yeah, well, Mihu. Normally, it's really not that that I really hope overall. Sneeko in a quiet day. That is really a... Okay, well... Flashbangs. But they have to get that second wave inbound. And the problem is that Jacob, he's on fire right now. It's a free and free situation. They've actually managed to get the, to get the bomb down. Jota, we haven't seen that much from him. But now, well, Cypher and, Tro and Troyan getting one kill each is now to Mihu. This could be a big round for Mihu. If he can challenge it correctly, there it is. There's the first one. He needs to, to lure Troyan out somehow, some way. Troyan, yeah, he, stay, he goes for it, and there it is. No, 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 no. I know that you're all with me at this point. I know that you are. But Jota, we have seen uh, we have seen some incredible things from him in... Uh, because we have seen before how volatile can actually be... Oh, that's the bomb. That's the bomb down. That is not that great for Eternal Fire Academy because they have lost an edge now and they have to, now they have to seek out different positions. Stiko on top of the table, getting a free frag onto uh, Vicadilla. And there it is. <laughs> searching eyes. Thank you so much for the follow. I don't know why. Are you searching for your eyes? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't really know. Well, Stiko, he uh, doesn't care though. He is going aggressive. He are just... <laughs> I mean, they are just destroying them left, right and center. They got the, um, yeah, getting, uh, getting a little cheeky kill onto JL. And they really have to make an, a massive, they have to make a massive impact. At the same time, looking at, uh, looking at Jota on that uh, world for, for Jota. Trying to, trying to get a hold of that bomb. It's not going to happen. 16 seconds left to go. And there's no way to run for Vicadilla. Two, uh, they need the last two rounds. They need them dearly. And uh, there's a lot of damage being dealt by a couple of, my, by a single Molotov. Vicadilla, oh my dear God. He's just jumping around jumping over Jacob but JL he doesn't care Steeko up to 20 kills 20 and 5 that is so impressive he continues on he doesn't care diplomatic position that he was in so Troy Cyber yeah Mihu yeah well he wants to check out what the hell is going on and there it is there's the surprise Rams nowadays nine things left to go Steeko yeah well he wants to shove it in there yeah and he does the bombers they'll be wiped off completely that's a great shot for Mihu. Jesus Christ. That's an instant shot. Mihu, he uh, he searches for more, but shots are like that for so many rounds now in a row. But not this time. Cyber, he does manage to take care of Jacob. So, well, and well for Stiko, he picked up the knob instead. And he just connect that. It's so great. That's JL, who uh, just, yeah, well, he just disappeared from the map. Well, it doesn't even matter much. He was already dead in the, in the meantime. You have to dig deep now. And the pistol round is, of course, very important. And let's just see now from Jacob. Well, Jacob, he was just eliminated by Amistar. And Jota, and Jota again with a couple of crispy shots. But Mihu, he's all what's left in one of three situation. And now with their, uh, with their full buy, Mihu, they're showing him some, yeah, well, showing some versus uh, on Mirage. Getting, uh, getting some control over middle, it seems like it also be, uh, well, Vicadilla and Cyper getting uh, getting one apiece, but then Steeko, he just give it, uh, grant them the next. Nobody knows if uh, Eternal, Fire, Eternal Fire Academy, they will make a huge splash, which I, uh, I, I mean, uh, the winner, well, the winner between Eclot and uh, Into the Breach. But talking about winners, it seems like that Apex, they are taking a couple of steps forward onto the B-bomber side. Nark finds out Cyper. What the hell? 
They are 10 rounds away from securing overtime. Which is can definitely be unlikely, but right now, well for for King for M Star taking care of uh, taking care of, uh, of Jake him, but oh my God, Jota, he should have gotten that. So it's a four and three situation now for Ape. They are all on top of uh, of Cyber right now. So Cyber he needs to hit those shots. Takes down JL, but now they know where he is. It's going to be spammed, spammed down to nothing. It's a three and two situation now. He needs that timing. He needs it. He needs it perfectly. There it is. There's the first one. But still, Stiko he's actually away from. He's away from Sandwich. There is Vikadia once again. This is huge. But there it is. The same for Trent. He needs to hit though. He needs to hit that shot. There it is. <laughs> Well, sneezing is the way of the game sometimes. Stiko, 29 kills and 11 deaths. I mean, he still could. He is. And they're going. Okay, they're actually going straight for a fanatic, fanatic plan. To, oh my. Ooh, oh, Mitchell. That is big. <laughs> it's so big. What is going on? It's a 2 2 situation. The bomb has been planted. And it's up <laughs> to Troy and v and Vikadia and JL takes down Troy. What is going on here? There is Nark. Oh my god.